A number of experts have argued that whilst Nigeria may have millions of people on the internet, less than five of them currently engage in online transactions for various reasons. It is believed that one way to truly deepen the tech ecosystem is to get more Nigerians to make and receive payments electronically. John Obaru, MD CEO System Specs, joins us to share his thoughts on how to improve financial inclusion and strengthen online payments. Would you say you're comfortable with the progress we've made in terms of adopting technology in Nigeria today? Um, not where we want to be, but certainly better than it used to be. Uh, things are getting better now. People are feeling more comfortable with the use of mobile phones. Mobile phones are getting more powerful. So to that extent, a lot of things are happening positively in the economy. From your experience, what ways do you think we can better manage the Nigerian economy using technology? The first thing is we need to speak to the issue of identity. We need to uh, resolve this issue of digital identity once and for all. It will create a very strong multiplier effect. We need to know who we are dealing with. So something needs to be put in place to ensure that in the not too distant future, we address who each person is. So I want to know I'm dealing with Fred, you want to know you're dealing with John. Okay. We need to be able to also speak to addressing, whom addressing. If we have our streets, uh, every location in Nigeria well mapped out, well addressed, uh, these two things will create a very strong multiplier effect for the economy. Technology will be able to ride on that to make things easier for people to do a lot of other things. You mentioned identity. Why do you think there's this um, challenge with resolving identity in terms of the fact that we have CBN, we have FRSC, we have INEC and the rest of them? What do you think we should do in that regard? I think we just need a knowledgeable centre to take charge. Um, we, we, we have a number of splinter databases already, but what we need is a central identity which we can all revolve around. NIMC by the Act uh, should be playing that role, but I don't know how much support they have and uh, what other issues and challenges they may be having. But they come closest to being able to make it happen, at least the one for individual identity. I'm not too sure who is speaking to the issue of addressing, but that's another one we really need to face. On the, the, the one for digital identity, uh, you have BVN, which has reasonably succeeded, um, but it's not large enough, it's not inclusive enough. Uh, and even then, I'm not too sure the level of detailed information they probably have collected, but you have things like the National Census Project, which is coming up, I think, next year. Uh, we have INEC. Those two need not be separate, for instance. Bring them together. Let them work with NIMSI to create a real usable national database. And in terms of financing, I believe if the, 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 the project is well put together, it will more than pay for itself. I mean, yes, government may put in some initial funding, but with the right data, businesses in and out of Nigeria will be willing to pay to, to offset whatever it will cost to create that project. P payment collection seems to be one challenge that startups have. What do you think can be done to resolve that? Well, I'm not too sure if that is as bad as it used to be because now you have a number of um, payment firms that have come up and um, I can also speak for Renita, for instance. Renita, we can connect with any startup. And what that does with a simple API, a startup will be able to um, make payments electronically, and more importantly, they'll be able to receive payments. And with this single connection to Renita, they have multiple channels by which they can receive funds. Their customers will be able to pay them using cards. Their customers will be able to pay from their accounts directly. 
their customers will be able to pay on POSs if they are near them or at designated points. They will be able to pay uh, different channels, whatever is convenient, including walking to bank branches. So once a startup is connected to Remita, their customers can walk to any bank branch in Nigeria to make payments to them. And this would immediately you know, reflect in their uh, books and reports. What's your impression of the startup ecosystem today? Are you satisfied with the level of progress being made? I am reasonably satisfied. A lot of um, positive things are happening. And um, you have a number of young people who have taken their fate in their hands. Um, you can say thanks to unemployment. So many of them are now doing things that are coming out positive. We have a number of them come visit and I'm amazed at the kind of ideas that some of our young people are coming up with. And the more interesting thing is that a good number of them did not study computer science okay, or any related discipline. They just took an interest. So you, you can see that creative mind being unleashed. Uh, uh, so I see a bright future for Nigeria in that respect. Okay, so let's talk about user education. Um, are you okay with the fact that um, Nigerians sort of sometimes have issues using their electronic payment systems? Are you okay with the level of user education? In terms of user education, the challenge for us in the industry is to keep making the systems easier and simpler to use such that the need for education in itself will continue to reduce. I mean, um, part of the challenge we faced, for instance, when we were uh, doing the TSA, initiating, uh, starting off the, the TSA program, was the realization that, look, you're going to have people in remote areas, in a number of places, who would not um, have had the privilege of a formal training on how to use the platform. So we had to create something that would make it easy for an, a ministry, department, or agency uh, to onboard easily and be able to make their payments on the platform and also make it easy for customers who want to pay government to be able to make those payments without necessarily going through formal trainings. And these are some of the things which you now have to begin to uh, sort of diffuse through the economy that more and more organizations using these platforms to make their payments, to receive payments, more and more individuals feeling comfortable to use their mobile phone um, for practice. Finally, how can we ensure that Nigerian solutions are actually exported to other parts of Africa and the rest of the world? Well, the first thing is um, we need to even believe in ourselves. Um, Nigeria is a fertile ground. You have about 180 million people, different ideas. Um, by using these solutions in country, it becomes easier for us to confidently go out to many of the other African countries, for instance. Because once it has worked in Nigeria, uh, you, 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 the, the challenges you will meet in the other places are relatively a piece of cake. So I want to encourage Nigerians, use Made in Nigeria, okay? The quality of our software are very good. The things coming out of Nigeria, like Nollywood, they are in the creative art. Nigerians are creative. We should encourage Nigerian software. And then the more we use this in Nigeria, the more we speak well of ourselves. Let us not run down our own. Let us speak positively of our own. Then it becomes easier for outsiders to respect us and accept us. Thank you for being on Tech Trends today. Thank you very much, Fred, and all the best. Congrats on what you're doing with Tech Trends. That's it for our show today. Please follow us on social media and you can watch these and previous editions of the show on the channel's TV YouTube account or via my blog cfatech.ng. For Tech Trends, I'm Chukwemeka Agbata. Ow.